good morning students so let us study redox reaction first about redox reaction what is the classical idea of redox reaction so according to the classical idea the term oxidation used to describe the addition of oxygen to an element or a compound and you know that students approximately 21% dioxygen is present in the atmosphere therefore many elements combine with it and this is the principal reason why they commonly occur on the earth in the form of their oxides what's the meaning of this it means addition of oxygen is oxidation same you can see here in the example when magnesium burns in air it combines with oxygen and then produces magnesium oxide it means magnesium oxidized into magnesium oxide and the term reduction is described as removal of oxygen or addition of hydrogen see in the example hgo this is mercuric oxide when decomposes breaks down into its constituents that is mercury and oxygen so here you can see removal of oxygen from mercuric oxide so this is called reduction now let's see the redox reaction in terms of electron transfer reactions or we can say the modern concept of loss and gain of electrons oxidation is actually loss of electron or electrons by any species whereas reduction is uh, explained by gain of electrons by any of the species now oxidizing agent oxidizing agents are acceptor of electrons the species which accepts electron is known as oxidizing agent next is reducing agent the species which donates electron preferentially during the chemical reaction is known as reducing agent you can speak in few words like donor of electrons are called reducing agents now have a look over these examples when sodium combines with hydrogen it forms sodium hydride okay this reaction can be written in two halves you can see here on the screen the first half is sodium which is alkali metal highly reactive and have tendency to lose electron the same happens during this reaction also the sodium converts into sodium ion and two electrons lost by two atoms of sodium so here we can say loss of electron means it is oxidation of sodium now these two electrons are gained by hydrogen in second half this converts into hydride ion that means gain of electron is known as reduction sodium oxidized and hydrogen reduced now look at on the image the same thing is shown here oxidation means release of electron and reduction means accepting electron electron lost that means oxidation electron gained that means reduction see in the equation dichromate ion reacting with ferrous ion and converting into chromium ion plus ferric ion now how can you identify here oxidation half and reduction half see here in the equation ferrous ion 
is converting into ferric ion this is increase in oxidation state this means oxidation half now dichromate ion is converting into chromium ion by gaining electron because each chromium in dichromate ion is in plus 6 oxidation state so it gains 6 electron and converts into chromium ion as it is clearly visible on the screen now the next topic we are taking is oxidation number oxidation number denotes the oxidation states of an element in a compound now let's see some rules how can we calculate or determine oxidation number of different species so first rule is in elements <clears throat> in the free or the uncombined state each atom bears an oxidation number of zero for example o2 cl2 o3 p4 mg al etc next rule is for ion composed of only one atom the oxidation number is equal to the charge on the ion thus we can see here if we write in a positive it means its oxidation state is plus 1 in case of mg di positive its oxidation state is di positive or plus 2 now next is types of redox reactions first type of redox reaction we are taking is combination reactions you know students you have studied already in 10th class that a combination reaction means addition of two reactant to produce a new product so this can be denoted as a plus b gives c and here you must note that a or b okay or both must be in the elemental form for such a reaction to be a redox reaction now what we can say is all combustion reaction involves elemental dioxygen are redox reactions because you know when any combustion reaction takes place one of the reactant essentially is elemental dioxygen and combustion reactions are also combination reactions so we can conclude here that all combustion reaction involves elemental dioxygen or redox reaction now next type of redox reaction let's see is decomposition reaction decomposition reactions are the opposite of combination reactions a decomposition reaction leads to the breakdown of a compound into two or more components at least one of which must be in the elemental state here it needs to be underlined again i am repeating at least one must be in the elemental state one example you can see on the screen this is the composition of potassium chlorate into potassium chloride and dioxygen here dioxygen in its elemental state it means reaction is redox reaction this may also be noted here that all decomposition reactions are not redox reactions like you can see in the example of decomposition of calcium carbonate produces calcium oxide and carbon dioxide and you can see in this equation of decomposition of calcium carbonate that none of the uh, reactant or the product is in the elemental state so it's a non redox reaction 
now next type is displacement reactions in a displacement reaction an ion in a compound is replaced by an ion of another element a dummy equation can be given like x plus y z gives y x z plus y it can be metal displacement or non metal displacement reactions where a metal displaces a less reactive metal and a more reactive non metal displaces a less reactive non metal so you have studied these thing and you know that very well that all the displacement reactions are the example of redox reaction now next one is disproportionation reaction and these are the special type of redox reactions in which one of the reacting substance or element exist in at least three oxidation states undergoes simultaneous oxidation and reduction reactions i should repeat this you know this is the special type of redox reaction and which particular element or the substance can undergo the process of disproportionation so make it clear here that at least three oxidation states if a metal or element exist in can only undergo simultaneous oxidation and reduction one example you can see chlorine gas reacts with base that is represented by oh negative aqueous converts into clo negative plus cl negative plus h2o now see here clearly in this equation you can see elemental chlorine cl2 its oxidation state is zero and this is converting into clo in clo negative oxidation state of chlorine is plus 1 and in cl negative oxidation state of chloride ion is minus 1 so conversion of zero to plus 1 and then zero to minus 1 simultaneously only for one element or the species is called disproportionation reaction remember the note written over here fluorine among halogens being the most electronegative element and cannot exhibit positive oxidation state and it does not undergo disproportionation reaction thank you students